three more products. Y'all still here? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So I am finally uploading my Sephora hauls with an S. I went to the store twice, three times, and I ordered online, and I'm waiting for some stuff to come in. No judgment zone. On this channel, we do not judge. We share, we provide entertainment, we provide information. <laughs> I am a mess, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm, we're not going to talk about how much. I, it's a lot. It is a lot. This is the box. And then I got two bags. So I'm going to hurry up and get started because this is probably going to be a long video. But before I do, if you're new here, I would love to invite you to join the family. So hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So we're going to go ahead and get started because I don't want this to be long and your girl has got a lot to share. So stay tuned and keep on watching. I really thought about waiting because I like I said I have some more stuff coming in but y'all I'm just I wanted to get this video out and I should have done it sooner and just did it in parts but whatever I can't take it back so we're gonna start with the bags first I picked up the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation I got mine in the shade 10 now I have seen this foundation I've heard a lot about this foundation how it's supposed to be so amazing but I was never going to pick it up before because I had oily skin. Police sirens. Anyway, um, yeah, so I had oily skin and I just did not think this was going to work for me. But I was low-key jealous of everybody who else could wear it. So now I can. I will tell you guys, I have worn this already. I did a wear test, so you guys will see it coming up. But this is the foundation right here. In my video, before y'all come for me about the color, it looked good. I love this foundation. Y'all will see it in my video, but this is amazing. So glad I picked it up. The next thing I picked up is this Visart, Visiart. What do I normally say? Visiart, Visart. I think I say Visart. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is their 12 pan eyeshadow palette in neutral mattes milieu. This is what this one looks like. It's gorgeous. And I was like, you know, I have no, um, let me not lie. I just wanted it. That's just, it is what it is. This is what the shades look like. And I think it's going to pair gorgeous. I do have a few palettes that are mainly shimmers. So I can use it with this. I could do an all matte look. I just thought it was pretty and I wanted to get it. That is all. And it was on sale in the sale items and the extra 20% off. That is another reason why it helped because this is an $80 palette. The next item I picked up, I was so excited. Y'all know these have been sold out online and I went to the store the first day of the sale and thank God they had these in stock. This is the Melt Cream Blush Light. I picked up Sandy Cheeks and at first I was just like, I know this is gonna be the shade, this is gonna be it. And then I got home and I opened it and I was like, this is some bow, this is not gonna match me. Like it looks really light. <laughs> I used this already guys, I couldn't help it. I've been holding on to this stuff. Today is the 18th, sale ends tomorrow. I went shopping the first day and I am rouge. So on the third, I've been holding this stuff for a while. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And at first I was like, this is not going to match me. I am so pissed off. I swatched it on my hand and I was like, man, I've been all excited about this and this is not even going to match. Look how ashy that is. Y'all, this looks so good on my cheeks. And the other shade that they have in stock that is a, not in stock, but in the store that was a matte is whatever the other shade is. That's a little lighter. And so I just, this was the one that had to work. And thankfully it builds on the cheeks really nicely. But it is more for like a barely there kind of flush of color. It's not something to wear if I'm doing a really dramatic look. But most of my other liquid blushes are dark. 
So this actually is a good addition to my collection. I am so glad I'm doing this right now because I'm low-key like, okay, Barbara, this is the last day of the sale. Is there anything else you want that you haven't picked up? And I started looking at this, which I have already, and I was going to get it. This is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush. This is the liquid matte one in the shade Love. I forgot I ordered it. I need to stay off the computer. I need to stay off of online shopping. I need to just stop. This is what it looks like. I've heard so many good things about these. And I told you guys, I really do try to wait until a sale comes before I order stuff. So I had not picked any of these up yet. I hadn't picked up anything Rare Beauty. This is what the shade looks like. So you see how much darker that is. And then when I blend it out. So compared, you can see this one is a lot darker. And that's why I said I think this one will be a good addition, the melt one. But this is so pretty. And I've heard really good things about them. So I can't wait to try it on my face. The next thing that I picked up, I also have been hearing a lot about. And I am a setting spray lover. So I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Setting Spray. I picked this up, at first I wasn't going to because they were talking about how long it lasts and how it makes your makeup stay. And so I was like, this is probably gonna be drying and I just can't, but it does not say that it is drying. It says that it also kind of hydrates somehow, but it makes it stay all day, no idea. Yeah, so it says primes and sets for up to 18 hours Instantly lock in your look for makeup magic that looks just applied. No melting, no fading, no creasing. You can use it before and after you apply your makeup. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Hadn't tried it before. So I'm excited because I finally got to get it. The next thing that I picked up, Sephora collection is 30% off during, this, during the sale this year. It's not always like that, but they decided to do it this time. So I did pick up, I think just two, three two three i miss one's not in yet i picked up three sephora items the first one is this sephora micro smooth powder this is in the shade deep number 56 i do have this already but i have mahogany which is a shade deeper and i wanted something that i could use just to kind of set all over my face especially for my foundations that are already my shade or a little darker i didn't want to use a darker powder on top of it so I picked this up mainly because it was 30% off and I didn't want a lot of the powders that I have from before are all like mattifying and really heavy and I wanted something that was just going to be smoothing, blurring, but not too much coverage and not matte. So 30% off. Thanks. I also decided to pick up the translucent setting powder. Y'all know I've been loving translucent, off-white, beige, whatever to set my under eye and other parts of my face. I don't like yellow powder anymore. I just, I can't. I even tried it. I just decluttered my Sacha Buttercup powder because I tried it one day and I was just like, this is not for me anymore. But I saw Andrea Renee talking about this and how good it was. So that was my motivation, inspiration, whatever to pick this up. I'm not going to open this right now because I have a lot of powders open, but she's, this says it's lightweight, translucent, it absorbs oil and reduces shine. I don't really have that problem, but as long as it helps to set and blur, I'll keep it. If it's just for oiliness, it might have to go back. I said I was not going to get this product because I got the Sephora product. And then I got, actually, I got this one first, said I wasn't going to get Sephora, and then I picked up Sephora too. Anyway, this is the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. I got mine in the shade Softly, which is a sheer tan. I just have heard so much good stuff about this. Of course, the FOMO is real when you're watching everybody buy stuff and you're like, but I want it too. So yeah, that's why I picked it up. This is what the packaging looks like. It's clear. So that's what that looks like. Super pretty. Looks really soft. It feels very soft. It's not, it's a sheer coverage powder. It's not advertised to add any coverage. It's just to help smooth and blur, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And I wanted to get something close to my skin tone or a little tiny bit lighter just to help cool off the darker foundations or some of the ones that are more red. So cannot wait to use this. 
The next item that I picked up, I had been waiting to get this and I was going to get it during the Pat McGrath sale, but for whatever reason, not everything was on sale for the friends and family 30% off. So, and then I think, no, these weren't on sale at all. So I ended up getting it from Sephora. This is the Divine Rose Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Matte Lipstick. This is the only one that I saw that I wanted. So I didn't pick up a bunch of shades. I don't have any pat. I have her regular bullet lipsticks, but I don't have any glosses. I don't have any of the liquid lipsticks. And I heard these were really good. And when I saw this shade, I was like, Lord knows that is my perfect, like, everyday nude. I love colors like this. It's a little cool. This reminds me a lot of my Too Faced Melted Chihuahua but I just think this is like the perfect put on. I would put this on with a brown liner. I would put this on with like a burgundy liner. You can just wear it with so many different things, but I just love the shade of that. So I was really happy I finally got one of these. This next product was totally an impulse buy. This is the Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane Eyeshadow Palette. I was in the store the very first day and it was sitting next to the Melt Blushes. I hadn't even looked for this. I wasn't thinking about it, wasn't gonna get it, and then I saw it and I was like, she's beautiful. I already filmed a video with this. I did three looks with it, so you guys will see that soon. I'm telling y'all, I've been waiting to film this. It's crazy. But this is what the packaging looks like. And I don't know if you guys can see. Let me try to put it closer so you can see. Come on, boo, focus. When I flip this, there's actually glitter in here. So these move. I don't know if you can see that, but packaging is cute. And then, sorry, mine is dirty because like I said, I used it. And I think I use almost every color in here. This is what the palette looks like. It reminds me so much of the Natasha Denona Glam palette. And so I was like, all right, you got to melt purple, the um, She's in Parties palette, and you absolutely love it. Now you have this one and it has a little bit of green in it here. I'm trying not to blind y'all. Has a little bit of green in it here, but then it's mostly cool tones. So it's good to add it to your collection. You, I love this brand. I have not, now I don't have any of the other um, bigger palettes like 27 and the Rust Stack and uh, Smoke Sessions and all those. I've looked at those and I liked them, but I was just like, you don't need more warm. You don't need more green. You don't need blah, blah, blah. I felt like I needed this. So definitely glad I picked this up. These next items were from my second trip to the store. I picked up the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Balm Lip Set. I picked this up mainly because it has a full size Pat McGrath Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine in Nude Venus. I love getting lip masks and lip products like this because it's a smaller size. I get to try it out and if I like it, I can buy the full size later. But yeah, I was just mainly excited because I think these are like 20 something dollars by themselves. But this is so cute. So guess what is gonna be on display in my beauty room when I get it set up at the new house? Ooh. So that is what the shade looks like. It is a very pretty nude and I can see that it has a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm not gonna put it on right now because my lips are coated. But yeah, this is gorgeous and this will probably go in my purse. The other items, like I said, coconut, Sephora, little coconut lip balm. This is the Tarte, this is a tiny size. The Tarte Jelly Glaze. This is the Ilia Lip Wrap Hydrating Mask, a little tiny size. These can go in my travel bag. And then this is the Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. So these are all little, the Pat McGrath was full size. This was an impulse buy and it was inspired by Kinky Sweat Alicia. This is the Kaja Blendable Sculpting Trio. This says Play Bento in the shade 03 Mocha Mellow. This is a little trio and it shows the shades right there. Like I said, this is shade 03. There's 01, 02. So this is the darkest one that they had. It comes with a cream bronzer. This is what it looks like. Super cute, looking like a little Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, and then it's cute. It has this little 
seal. So this is the blush. This is a powder. Go ahead and swatch it. Oh, this is my shade. This is right up my alley. So that's the shade there. Then we have a highlighter. That's a little dark. But let's go ahead and swatch it. I should have wiped my hand off first. Yeah, that's a little dark for me. That's the highlighter shade there. And then we have a cream bronzer. And honestly, I was mostly excited about this. Oh, that is dark. Whoa. Girl, hopefully that blends out some. Ooh, baby, you're going to have to be careful with that. The other shade was like super light because Alicia used the medium and it looks like a bronzer on her. This is a contour for sure. Let me see. Yeah, if you use a light hand and you blend it out, it's still dark, but that is going to be gorgeous. So yeah, I'm glad I picked this up. I never tried any of their stuff, so I felt like this was a good way to try three products in one. Another product that I picked up is the LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. This says it's pore and shine control. Interesting. I don't know if I realized <laughs> that this was going to be... I guess it's mattifying if it's keeping shine away. But it says it's a serum primer. So it helps to balance the appearance of skin and minimize the look of enlarged pores. I mean, it sounds great. It's a gripping primer. I wanted to get one of their blushes so bad and those are still sold out to this date. So I may end up picking up one full price when they come back in, but I love gripping primers. You guys know that. And if it helps with pores, this is going to be good. So I'm excited to try it. All right. Next, I picked up the House of Lashes Clear Eyelash Adhesive. This was under the Sephora brand collection. So this was 30% off. I mean, honestly, I'll, that's the only reason why I got it. I don't know. I, it had good reviews and it's a clear one. I do like clear lash glues over the black ones because a lot of times I'm still struggling. I will go to put it on my lid and it will end up touching somewhere up here and then mess up my eyeshadow. So if it's clear, it doesn't do as much damage. But this does say latex free and waterproof. So... We'll see how it works. This is another impulse buy, but this was on sale plus the 20% off. This is the Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil. Y'all, I don't know why I bought this. <laughs> Let me see. I got this in the shade Dark Brown. Let me see. I'm a mess. Okay, so one side has a spoolie. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I think this is an interesting shape. So it's not completely round like the Anastasia Brow is. The point of it is long and then you can turn it on its side and it's wide. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but this is different and it's a drier formula, which I like. This is a shade dark brown. I'm just digging in my hand to try to get this to show. That is what it looks like right there. So it is a very dry formula, which I actually prefer. Last thing I picked up in the store, this is the Freck Beauty Rich Bitch Cactus and Vitamin C Moisturizer. I picked this up because of Babs Beauty. She was talking about how much she loved this and how it's a big tube size and how it looks really good under makeup. So this is 1.7 ounces and I have been really loving to put a pretty heavy moisturizing cream on before bed and then also before I do my makeup it says it's a light yet rich ultra moisturizer. Morning and night it can be used so she raved about it and I was like, okay, I was, I had it in my cart. I didn't know if I was going to pick it up. And then I went to the store and they had it when it's in my face and I'm already thinking about it. I'm just going to grab it. So that's why this ended up in my bag. The rest of these products all came in online. I ordered these online. The first 
is this LYS Beauty. I did pick up their Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I have worn this and I wore it mainly because I wanted to make sure the shade was right. If not, then I was going to, you know, be able to exchange it and still get the sale price. They don't have this in store. I kept getting matched to warms, but I know I prefer a neutral. So I picked up DN6. I have worn this. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit dark. But other than that, I like the undertone of it. So I also ordered DN5 and that is going to be in soon whenever it ships. But I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a swatch to see. So like I said, it's a little dark, but I prefer, oh Lord. I'm going to blot this down with a towel just a little bit so you guys can see once it dries down. But that's what the shade looks like. I know it's a little dark. That's why I ordered DN5 because I want to see what that is going to look like because that might be a better match for me. But just based off of what I saw online, I thought this was going to be my shade. I did order a DG6 as well, the golden one, but that was way too yellow. I like this foundation. I did wear it in the gym. This is not a gym foundation at all. I could tell that it kind of not broke up, but I just felt like it creased a lot on me. So I will show you guys what it looks like on camera once I get the other shade in. But in terms of just wearing this during the day, how it looks, I like it a lot. The next thing I picked up is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This has been on my radar for a minute. And at first I was just like, I don't understand why. And then I got a sample of it because I wasn't, I didn't understand like what it was supposed to do. And I thought it was just going to be like a glowy primer, which I was like, you have a bunch of those. Y'all, I put this on my hand in the store. I picked up the shade Deep Six and a Half. This literally is my skin tone color. Like blends in so beautifully. That's what made me pick it up. Like I feel like I could almost just wear this by itself. That's it right there. That is like my skin tone. And no, I, I can see, I put it on my hand, it, it blends right in. And the nice subtle glow that it gives, I had to pick it up, I had to. I also picked up, I was really excited about this, another product I've been eyeballing but I refuse to pay full price. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher. I got mine, when these came out in the darker shades, I was so excited. I got mine in the shade Walk of No Shame. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Let me swatch. I'm going to swatch just the blush by itself. I actually thought this was darker than that. But no, it still shows very pretty. And I know you can build it up. And then I'll swatch the highlighter. But you just put your brush in and you blend all of this together. Ooh, that is so pretty. So that's the blush right there. That's the highlighter. Can you imagine the glow my cheeks are going to have? Right now we got a little bit of a glow, but can you imagine that glow? I cannot even wait. I've been eyeballing this forever, and I'm glad I can finally say I have a Charlotte Tilbury blush. Big girl. I was happy to see that the Marc Jacobs products were also 30% off plus the 20% off. So there wasn't anything that I was really checking for other than the Marc Jacobs Cafe Extra Shot Caffeine Concealer and Foundation. I got the shade 310. I was going to try to pick this up in my foundation shade, but I was getting so flustered between trying to match the Giorgio Armani and the LYS. And I was just like, I give up. These are not working. I don't know. I don't know what my shade is. I don't want to waste it. So picking this up in a concealer shade, this has a half of a fluid ounce, 0.54. This is a little light, but we know I do my concealers a little light. So not, this is not overly light. I like the undertone of this. That's it right there. So I think this is going to be gorgeous as an under eye concealer. This is a lot of product. And for the discount that I got for it, I definitely feel like it was worth it. 
Another Marc Jacobs product I picked up is their Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I'm not going to open this, but I saw that it had really good reviews and I like mascaras that give more volume because I have, my lashes are starting to get longer, but they don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of them. So I just wanted to try this. It says Major Drama Oversized Lashes Velvet Like Look. This other product was an impulse buy. This is the Lawless Woke Up Like This Flawless Finish Makeup. I actually went in the store. I like this packaging. It's kind of cute the way it just sits in the box like that and it has this plastic sleeve. Um, I went in the store, could have sworn my shade was bronze. This is the shade Heat, which is the one after bronze. This is a little bit on the yellow warm side for me. I'll go ahead and show you guys a swatch. Y'all, I decluttered my foundations only to turn around and buy 20 more. Don't come for me. <laughs> so that is what it looks like right there. And when I blend it out, I really like the undertone of this. It does have some warmth to it, but at the same time, there's still a little bit of, it's yellow. I feel like it's golden and neutral. It's a good blend. It's not too much of either. So... Yeah, I think this is a good match. The guy at the store told me it was a good match. <laughs> so we will see how this wears, but the claims on it say that it is flawless finish formulated for all skin types with medium to full buildable coverage and a fresh satin finish. I picked up another foundation. I'm blaming this on Jackie Ina. There was no way I was gonna buy this without a sale. This is the Gucci. Fluid Natural Finish Foundation. I got mine in the shade Medium 380N. I picked this one up. I think Andrea was raving about it too. I picked this one up in this shade. I picked up this shade and 410W. I think Andrea said she wore 410W and we are not the same shade. She's a little darker than me. So I was like, Barbara, that's not your shade. No matter how much you want it to be, that is not your shade. I will tell you guys I've worn this because I wanted to make sure it matched. The dry down is beautiful, wore it to the gym. She held up, boo. This foundation is amazing. Love the pump, love the packaging. I will show you guys a quick little swatch. I know this looks a little dark, but the undertone works well, especially when I put my concealer and everything on. So yeah, looking at the pictures online, I'm tired of shopping online for makeup. I really am. I need to just stop. <laughs> I need to stop shopping for makeup if we're honest. I'm gonna blot this off just a little bit so you guys can see. It is a little dark, but the undertone of it is good. And if I don't like pile it on, I just feel like it helps kind of warm things up a little bit. Y'all know how I wear my foundation. We go through this every time. I did not want to go lighter than this because this is expensive and I want to be able to wear this, not just on, you know, during the summer. Like this baby needs to be worn all the time year round so that's where we are with that hope y'all ain't getting tired because we got some more stuff stay with me comment below let me know if you're still here at this point the next thing i picked up is the tower 28 power duo this is the leap the lip and cheek set in cashew is the lip color and power hour is the blush i've been hearing a lot about these blushes and this set I feel like this set costs the same amount as one of the blushes by itself. So I picked up the set. I've heard good things about the lip product. What is this? Lip Jelly. Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Cashew. So this is probably like a gloss. Oh, yeah, it's a gloss, but it looks very kind of milky. Not too bad of a smell. You can see just a tiny little bit of color there. This would go in my purse. And then this is the blush. Y'all, this color, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I don't wanna swatch it. This has a lot more pigment off the bat than the other one that I swatched earlier. The Melt Cosmetics one is a lot more creamy than this one. This one's a little more sticky, but I love the color of this. Next. Y'all know I love my Patrick Ta blush. She's Different, I think is the one that I have. This is the Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder, Bron Powder Bronzer Duo. I got She's Chiseled, which is the deepest one. 
The medium one was too light for me. They did have these in the store, so I got to see them. I feel like this is going to be really dark, but it was the only option because the medium one, like light and medium are so cl close, and then he went bam for dark. So this is the only option we have, but same packaging as the blush. I feel like this might be a little bigger. Oh, yeah, she dark, boo. Ooh, wee. That is dark. So it has the little plastic lip at the top here to keep your cream separate from the powder, but that is dark. Very creamy. Honestly, this shade looks a lot like the um, Kaja, the Kaja one. So I'll swatch them both. So there is the contour, the cream contour, and then there's the bronzer. Very deep, but you know, I would rather have that option and something that I can sheer out as opposed to having something that's just too light and then I have to build it up and have way too much product on my face. All right, we got two more makeup products and then I got one hair care and a couple skincare and one fragrance <laughs> and we're done. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. I forgot to mention this earlier with my Sephora stuff. It was in the bottom of the box, sorry. I picked up the shade 440Y. I went in, I tried these shades twice. And originally, Shade Finder told me my shade was gonna be like 50P or something like that. No, it was not. Absolutely wrong. So I tried this on in the store. Still wasn't sure about it. Went back another time to go look at some other stuff and I had them try it on me again. And yeah, I think this is gonna be it. So this is what the shade looks like and then I'll blend it out for you guys. That is so pretty. So that's what that looks like. Good match. Glad I got to try it on because I would not have picked that shade. The next thing I picked up, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I've had this before and I returned it. I bought the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette when it first came out. It's $44. I bought it, I used it, and I was just like, I don't feel like it's that, I wasn't into cool tones and I didn't feel like it was that great compared to anything else I had. And so I was just like, I'm gonna bring it back. I don't see myself wearing it that much. It was on sale for $22 and the 20% off. This is what the palette looks like. This thing has so many good reviews on Sephora's website. And I've heard Andrea Matiliano, I hope I'm saying her name right, rave about how this is one of her favorite palettes of all time. So I don't know. Initially, I was just like, I don't see what the big deal is. But looking at it right now, like this looks like colors I would wear for sure. So I don't know. I don't know why I brought it back the last time, but it's back and we're keeping it. I'll show you guys my fragrance purchase now. I love picking up these sets. This is the Sephora Favorites Deluxe Perfume Sampler. This was $75, but you get three, four, five, six, seven perfumes, deluxe size samples, and then you get a coupon to redeem in store for whichever one you like the most. So I love having these little bottles to use to try different products, different fragrances that I may not have bought. I was happy about this one because it also came with the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I don't know why I thought this was a full size. It is not, it is a mini. But I can tell y'all right now, I am probably gonna pick up this Versace, what's the name of this one? Dylan Turquoise, I have the Dylan Original, but I've smelled this. I smelled it like three times and every time I'm just like, oh yeah, that is me. All right, getting to the end. I picked up the Olaplex Number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I have told you guys before that I religiously, I use, is it the number three? That's the leave-in bond repair. I have that one and then I have the other, is it number six? I might be mixing up the numbers, but it's the one that you put on before you shampoo your hair. I don't use that enough because honestly, I forget. You have to wet your hair, Put it on your hair, let it sit, and then wash your hair. And I always wash my hair in the shower. So I never remember to use it. But the one that you put on your ends, the leave-in, I use that every time I wash my hair. I love Olaplex, and it is a little pricey, so I do try to stock up. I think I bought, I have another one of the leave-ins coming in in one of my other orders. But this is new, so I wanted to try this. Skincare items. 
I picked up the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. I've heard a lot of people talking about this. I use three to four steps when I clean my face now, especially if I have a full face of makeup. I use a cleansing balm. Then I use, um, right now in the bathroom, I have my It Confidence in a Cleanser. That's the second step. And then I have my Lancome um, Energy La Vie. It's a green one. And then I go in with my Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. That's my last step. It's been working for me. I haven't had any breakouts. I don't know if it's solely because of the Accutane or because I'm taking better care of my skin. But either way, that is the process I've been doing and I love it. This was only $10 and it says it's best for normal to sensitive skin. So I can't wait to use this because I've heard good things about it. And right now, one of my favorites is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. And so if I can find something else that is inexpensive, that works just as well, I have no qualms about replacing it. The next thing that I got is this Ole Henriksen Transform Plus Fat Glow Facial. It says instantly exfoliates, illuminates, and what else? It is a facial mask to help retexturize, targets fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and pores. Baby, that is everything. Everything for me. So, yeah. That's why. That is the only reason why I picked it up. Fine lines, dark spots, anti-aging, wrinkles, all of that stuff right here. Three more products. Y'all still here? I know it's long. I picked up the Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. I got a sample of this in one of my hauls. If I can find it, I will link it. I got a sample of this during the summer. Absolutely love it. It has almost like an iridescent purple to it. So when you put it on, it gives your face a glow. It looks kind of like this, how this is like holographic. That's how it looks when you take it out and when you're rubbing it into your skin. This was on sale and the 20% off. I did not need another moisturizer, but double discount in the bag, in the bag. I also picked up this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. I had a small sample size of this that I kept in my travel bag for the longest. And this was also on sale plus the 20% off. So that was the main reason I picked it up. But I like this because it does have a little bit of an orangish tint to it. It kind of leaves behind a slight sheen. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys because it's really hard to explain. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see from there that it is kind of a pearly pinkish, a very light salmon. And then I wish this would show. I don't know if you guys can see the slight sheen that it has in it, but I just think it looks so good under the eyes. So this is what my hand looks like right now. And then when I put this on, you see how it kind of gives like a little bit of an iridescence. It does that under the eyes. And it says that it helps to brighten and depuff. I really like the depuffing because first thing in the morning, these little bags be hitting, so looking full. But that's what it looks like. And like I said, I knew that I loved it before, so I was glad to be able to get a full size now. The last thing that I picked up, I told you guys that I had this in a small size, and I said if I could ever get a full size of it, I would. This is the Lancer Omega Hydrating Oil. This is expensive. This, thank God, was on sale already and the additional 20% off but I think it was still like $60. This is just a lightweight oil, facial oil, but for some reason, when I tried this one, I felt like when I put it on my skin, it sunk in and didn't leave me shiny, but at the same time, like I felt like it really hydrated. So I ran out of my little bottle, and as soon as I saw this was on sale, I grabbed it. It says, warm a few drops in your hand, and apply evenly to your face, neck, and decollete. All right, I'm just gonna tell you guys what else I have coming in because it's only a few items and I don't want to, I don't think I wanna do another haul video. <laughs> I don't need the judgment. So like I said, I'm gonna get the LYS in shade DN5, which says hazelnut. And then I picked up, like I said earlier, the Sephora Collection Lip Liner. This is in the shade Molasses, which is described as a mar matte, chocolate brown and then i also picked up the olaplex bonding oil the number seven 
I love hair oils. It says first of its kind, highly concentrated, ultra lightweight. And it does say it's good for fine hair. I do have fine hair. I have a lot of hair, but it is fine. So I don't like putting products in my hair that weigh it down. So I wanted to try this. And it also says it provides heat protection, which I love. Okay, this I'm super excited about. I might still show y'all this anyway. I told you guys a while back when we were talking about fragrances that I thought the Maison Louis Marie number no. four Bois de Belencourt perfume smells exactly like the Santal 33. And I bought a rollerball size of it and I've kind of just been like very sparingly using it because I don't want to run out. I decided to buy this set that they have. It comes with a camera, the perfume, and an oil. It says it's $160 value. It was $110 plus the 20% off. So I felt like that was worth it. I love this scent. It says earthy and woody. It is definitely different from what I normally wear, but I just think it's very sexy and sophisticated. So I will be happy to burn this in my beauty room. I also have a diffuser. That, and I found an oil that smells like it. And yes, I burnt, I put that in my house. My house will smell like Santal 33 on any given day. And then I also picked up, I picked up two shades of the Danessa Myricks. This is her Vision Cream Cover Adjustable Foundation and Concealer. I got shade N08. And then I also got shade W05 based on some of the other foundations that i feel like have been good matches for me these are ones that were suggested so hopefully these match because i've heard really good things about it and then last but not least i already know i think this is going back i'm not sure this is the kat von d balm the good apple balm they ended up having my shade in stock for like two seconds or what i thought was my shade this is shade tan 74 it says deep skin with neutral golden undertones I found this at Sephora. I'm not sure about the undertone. I'm going to do a video separate of that to show you guys. But yeah, that is what I'm waiting for to come in. So now I don't have to do another haul video. I'm not going to add up how much all this stuff costs. If y'all want to do it and talk about me, <laughs> you can. But I know I did some damage and I'm excited about everything I bought. So I don't feel bad about it, especially the stuff that I got sale on sale. That is it for this video. Thank you for sticking with me to the end if you did. Tell me what products you guys are excited about. Did y'all pick up any of this? Let me know if you shopped the sale, what you bought. If you're new, thank you for watching. And I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.